Senate Bill 140 bans most sex reassignment surgeries and hormone replacement therapies for those under 18. It passed in the Senate, but it's also received mixed responses from Savanians. The executive director of the First City Pride Center, Lawrence Appenzeller, says he's concerned for the kids he sees on a daily basis. There are a lot of local youth that identify as trans and non-binary. Um, I'd say that our youth group is primarily, if not all, trans and non-binary. Youth. Appenzeller says he's already seen the impact such legislation has on children he mentors, like one who he says tried to go to South Carolina to get treatment and was denied. Um, and we're looking for options here and now they're not going to have any options and I, it's heartbreaking to hear that this kid that's been waiting since they were six to transition and live their true authentic self are not going to be able to do that anymore. Beth Majeroni also works with children in the No Left Turn in Education organization. She says she supports the bill on the basis of research, even consulting an endocrinologist on how this affects children's bodies. He says that gender affirmative therapy can cause future sterility, increased cardiovascular and cancer risks, bone disease and death. And she even says the bill doesn't go far enough, saying she believes it should include the banning of puberty blockers. It's the gateway to uh, the more severe uh, gender affirming therapies that should only be reserved for those of age. PFLAG President Carla Faith Moore, who transitioned in her adulthood, says she sees the bill as an attack on the LGBTQ community. Growing up trans, um, before that was even a thing, um, I look back at all of the pain that it caused me and I look at other children and I'm involved with several groups and I look at some of these kids in their teens and their 20s that are looking at bills like this and saying we're trying to be eradicated. She says the decisions of transition are a matter of privacy not to be controlled by the government. I think that medical decisions should be left to the parents, the doctors and the children. not. To a politician that's trying to get votes.